Hey guys, I'm Scott and welcome to another video from Propulsion Swimming. This week we're back with another blackboard breakdown for you. This is where we give a quick bio of an elite swimmer, a breakdown of their achievements and why they are so good at swimming. For this week's video, we are taking a look at Australia's fastest ever female sprinter, Kate Campbell. A freestyle specialist, Kate Campbell was born on the 20th of May 1992 and stands at 6 foot 1 inch. She swims for Commercial Swimming Club, which is based in Brisbane, Queensland, under coach Simon Cusack. Campbell is Malawian born and she moved to Australia in 2001. Once her and her family had moved to Brisbane, Kate took up competitive swimming and aspired to be one of the best in the world. Her first major international meet was at the 2007 Australian Youth Olympic Games, where she took home two gold medals in the 50 meters freestyle and the 4x100 freestyle relay. She followed this up with victory in the 50 meters freestyle at the Japan Open in 2008, beating compatriot Libby Trickett and also setting an Australian and Commonwealth record in the process in a time of 24.48 seconds. At the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games, Kate Campbell was going in with massive confidence and she was only the age of 16 years old. For the 50 meters freestyle, she qualified for the final as second fastest seed, and she came away from that race with a bronze medal in a time of 24.17 seconds. And she wasn't done here. She was part of the bronze medal winning 4x100 meters freestyle relay. For the 2009 Rome World Championships, Campbell was suffering from several different injuries, which meant she wasn't part of the 4x1 freestyle relay team but she did compete on an individual note in the 50 meters freestyle. She finished with a bronze medal and also beat compatriot Libby Trickett yet again while just missing out on the Commonwealth record by two hundredths of a second. Her injuries persisted into 2010, but that didn't stop her from qualifying for the 2012 London Olympic Games. At these games, she gained her first Olympic gold in the 4x1 freestyle relay alongside her sister Bronte once again. This Olympic gold medal was a massive turning point for Campbell. This is where she went on to become a dominant force on the international stage. And at the 2013 World Championships in Barcelona, she collected her biggest medal haul yet. She won gold in the 100 meters freestyle, along with three silvers in the 50 meters freestyle, the 4x1 freestyle relay, and the 4x1 medley relay. At the next World Championships in 2015 at Kazan, Kate Campbell earned gold in the 4x100 meters freestyle relay, and she won bronze behind Shara Strostrom and her sister Bronte in the 100 meters freestyle. This meant that the Campbell sisters became the first family members to share a podium in an individual event. She also set a blistering 100 meters short course world record at the 2015 Australian Swimming Championships in a time of 50.91 seconds. She became the first ever female swimmer to drop under 51 seconds. And she broke another record in the following year at the Australian Grand Prix, again in the 100 meters freestyle, but this time in the long course edition. She set a time of 52.06 seconds, which bettered the previous world record mark by one one hundredth of a second. And it's worth noting that that world record was set by Britta Stefan in the Super Suit era. At the 2016 Rio Olympic Games, Kate Campbell and her Australian team, again including Sister Bronzy, successfully defended their 4x100 meter freestyle relay gold. And she also won silver as part of the Australian team for the 4x100 medley relay. However, on the individual front, these Olympic Games were slightly more disappointing for Campbell. She finished in 5th and 6th in the 50m and 100m freestyle events respectively. 
After these Olympics, Campbell took 2017 off from competitive swimming in order to recover from her so-called disappointment. She didn't end up competing for most of that year and skipped over the World Championships in order to focus for the 2018 home Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. Now, she did return to racing towards the end of 2017 at the Australian Short Course Championships, where she returned in flying fashion. She broke the 100 meters freestyle world record in a time of 50.25 seconds, knocking almost three tenths of a second off the previous mark. Campbell did return to international competition at the aforementioned Commonwealth Games. She ended up winning three golds and one silver with a world record in the four by 100 meters freestyle relay to top off what turned out to be an excellent return to competitive international swimming for her. And that form continued to the 2019 World Championships in Guangzhou, where that formidable Australian freestyle relay team won gold yet again. And Campbell also picked up silvers in the 100 meters freestyle, the 4x1 medley relay, and a bronze in the 50 meters freestyle. So you've heard the massive list of achievements that Kate Campbell has had throughout her career. But what makes her this dominant freestyle sprinting force? An obvious reason why Campbell is so good is the fact that she's over six feet tall, which helps her have such a long, smooth stroke. She has a technically brilliant freestyle technique, like most Australians do, and she swims very similarly to Sarah Showstrom in the fact that she keeps her freestyle stroke very narrow and compact. This enables her to reduce the drag through the water that she produces, which in turn increases the speed she travels through the water. But possibly her greatest strength, and probably one more swimmers need to take note of, is the fact that she was able to notice when her body needed a rest. She didn't have the best of meets at the Rio Olympic Games. She recognized that and she decided she needed to take some time away from swimming to recover both physically and mentally. She hadn't had a break from swimming in well over 10 years and this period of rest and recovery meant that she could come back onto the international scene with new record swims. Athletes know their bodies best and if you think your performances aren't where they need to be, maybe your body needs some time to rest and recover. We can't wait to see how Kate Campbell does when the Tokyo Olympics come around. That rounds up this week's video from Propulsion Swimming. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like this video, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel for more great new swimming content coming soon. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.